all the nerds. <laughs> Have you guys been noticing that over the years... Are you, you know, starting something? or? Yes, I'm starting something. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was going to start no, something. He, he Whatever, said that he, this is great. What? Continue. No. Anyway, have you guys noticed that over the years, week after week, we find new stuff at cons, at like stores, or like we build our collections so big that we have so much stuff... Shit, yeah. Yeah, so much shit <laughs> that in the end, like... There's a lot of stuff that, that becomes like obsolete that you know you bought just on, on like a a, a, a whim a, yeah a whim mm -hmm. whatever that is in yeah that terms. yeah <laughs> on it's, a whim and then you're like oh they don't understand um, <laughs> like I, I don't really care anymore yeah. so that's why I think like this past weekend we went to RetroCon and we were able to sell a lot of that shit mm -hmm. a lot of stuff we don't need anymore that we like we 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 lost like the passion of it not like the passion for like the, the subject but like that sounds so sad, <laughs> it is sad. Right. well the music we're getting old and no, we're honestly, no, but honestly <laughs> that, that's, that's a, a lot of it is for me anyway that's what it was as well it was because i know what you mean it's like you you um what's the word i'm looking for it's like an impulse buy yeah like there's a lot of comics or something that i saw like i would buy just for because i like the cover i don't read the series i don't read i don't know what's going on but i'm like that's a cool cover and i'll, I'll, I'll get it yeah, and sometimes you fall in and you're like, mm -hmm. why, why would I buy that? Why would I? I was like, like it. It was like when care. Marvel, was when like, Marvel Now started. Yeah. And Avengers, the Avengers movie had just came out. Then they did Marvel Now, and I subscribed to the Avengers, and I got the first two issues. And then I realized I still don't care about the Avengers. <laughs> I did that too with Marvel Now. I mm -hmm. have like almost every single number one. Mm -hmm. And I realized that they, there was too many coming out, and I couldn't follow them. I couldn't read them. But that's why I think it was good that we 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 got. These tables at uh, Retro Expo. But see, that, that was you guys, though, with comic books. Yeah. The stuff that I was selling wasn't necessarily stuff that I bought on a whim. It was just collections that I just didn't I, buy. Yeah, well, no, that's, that's it. That's, that's not exactly exactly no, for no, you. No. It's still stuff that you buy on a whim. No. You didn't need a six bob yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> that was at the end, okay? But yeah, that, that happens with true. everything. You, you, yeah. you buy stuff that you don't need. Did I sell any of my reboot stuff? Yes, I did. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Why? Because you... Because you found better ones with the box and everything. But anyway, that's the thing. Cheaper you didn't care also. about them anymore. You were just like, you bought them, you're like, oh, I really want them at the time. And after that, you're like, oh, I'm going to get no. them. Well, no, that's not true. He still cares about them. He yeah, just doesn't need them. He cares enough. Well, the Transformers animated, the stuff that I sold the most of, it was, I have the whole, well, I had the whole collection, yeah. and I wanted to sell it because I really don't have room, and it wasn't didn't have sentimental value exactly. anymore. Yeah. So... I was going to sell everything, and then I decided to split the collection to stuff that... Because I have a loose collection of those, and I have a box collection of those. So I was going to sell all the sealed ones, and then I decided only to sell the ones that I already have loose. So yeah. that was, like, super complicated, what I just said. No, but you sold... <laughs> but, but that's the thing. With, um, to, you know, to follow up with what you were saying, you sold a lot of your stuff, and really quickly, too. Like, right I know, it was like the first hour. Wait, we the set, shows were gone. We, everything was we gone. got we got it was underpriced. Yeah. Uh, but that was the okay, greatest Okay, underpriced. Whoa, 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 whoa. Underpriced. It was priced to sell. But it's underpriced. I don't necessarily go off and look on eBay and say, oh, look, this one's worth 30 this one's worth 40 this one's 60 this one's 70 I should do that. No. Not when I'm selling stuff like that, no. I take into account what I paid for it, and how much, how long I've had it, the time of having it, I deduct yeah. value from it just for me. Like if it cost me fifteen dollars, and I had it for a year, and you know they're not worth millions on. on no, the, you still, still look at ten bucks and like oh they're, they're worth around they're still fifteen. It's it's not the sentimental value just decreased the value, and I want to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. What's the price to get rid of them? And, and I wasn't like everybody else that was there. I, I saw some of their toys and stuff. And not to badmouth anybody. Ridiculous. People want to sell stuff the way they want to sell stuff. Go right ahead and do it. I have no problem against that. Yeah, but some ways are stupid. I was happy yes. with... <laughs> I, was, yeah, well, I, mean, I saw I was a bad mobile or it was all dusty, all disgusting for $70. Clean it at least. Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bought three. <laughs> I was happy with what I was selling and I was happy with 
I, what made me happy the most is the smiles on people's faces. I yeah. know. Oh, oh, no, 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 it's, no, 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 it's, no, 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 it's, <laughs> I, it's, I, I totally Even agree. Even with the I reboot totally stuff, the, the bag of reboot figures that I had. The, yeah, the yeah, the guy had one, a big smile. The guy picked it up and he was like, oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe it. And I've never seen someone react besides, you know, us. 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 <laughs> <laughs> reboot, but just to grab the bag and see all of them in, he's like, I, it, it, he pulls out his wallet, sold. Like, I, I'm so happy. And I was sad. Just, but just as like an that, observer, I was so happy. As an observer, you could see a lot of things. This guy went to, to his brother or something. He's like, give me some cash, give me some cash. I'm like, I oh, totally yeah. know how he feels. <laughs> I, I, oh, you know, yeah. But that's the, I totally agree with you. Because even with, with the stuff I had, uh, you know, we had three tables at the con. Half, uh, One and a half of them were comic books, uh, our three, us three. And then the rest of it was all your stuff. Um, and we had half a table of like random. And then, like, yeah, then the middle was like a bit, a bit of everything, you know? Uh, the 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 figures and collectibles that we had along with what video you had games video and games and stuff yeah. and the video games too there um there was a, this guy I don't remember what it was but uh, I originally had some of my PS2 games I was like ten bucks each whatever I don't care but then there was the guy that said one I told him the price and you were like well you know five bucks would be better and I was like yeah you're right and I told the guy I was like you really want it five bucks and he's like his like eyes light up like you know it's it's like okay well yeah okay. <laughs> And, and, at, yeah. <laughs> and at that point, that's when I did all my PS2 games five bucks. I was like, I don't care to, to take them, you know. It's but but to see someone like see something that they remember or really like, and then they see how inexpensive it, it would be to own it like right now, then they're like, sure, like, and it's it's you know it's cool because we're like that too. We we want to look for something at you know a decent price that we're willing to pay for it so that's the thing we have the experience of being there mm -hmm. in the past and like looking at like, oh this is we're way too expensive so we know what will please people and the thing is we're not there to 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 make a living out of it mm -hmm. no, we're there no, to like have it's fun and whatever. our collection yeah, yeah. like stuff and, that we don't need and, anymore you know we're usually on the other side of the table so now is the first time that we're vendors which you know it was really fun it was so it was really, you were like stressing I out I was stressed because of previous experiences as being a vendor at a con but you know what, Daniel, the guy who organized it is amazing. He did an amazing <laughs> job at everything. Mm -hmm. It's oh, true, and and apparently like uh, insert the big ass. In yeah, it. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like damn. No, no, no he's but a great guy. guy. He's, he's a great guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, he's like, a cool dude. I love it. Put a ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke to him for like an hour or something, maybe half an hour, and then he explained to me how what was his vision is that he was doing it for the fun, for the like the passion of it, and that was. The whole thing that was, but he he wants to he wants to sort of take it away. No offense, he wants to take it away from the people that are running, like say Montreal Comic Con right now. Well, just Montreal to Comic Con down started down the same place. Hmm? What Montreal Comic Con yes, started yes. at the same hotel, at the well. exact same at the the Delta the or the Ruby Fu Delta Delta. Delta? Yeah, because this one. Cool. Because this yeah. this one was at the Delta. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. I was just saying, great. This one was at the Delta. You, the, the the previous retro expos and high score con were at Ruby Foo. Mm. I uh, thought this place was beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it was a great God. venue. Walking great in hotel. there, like with it almost empty and setting up, it was such a beautiful place. It's a wide. It was it a wide great. space. Yeah. It and wasn't. You weren't. It was full, bit. but not cluttered. Yeah. You know? It was a great everything. Every table had a space mm -hmm. between it, so you could breathe. Mm -hmm. Everything was well laid out. You could basically stand from one side of the room and look at the other side, and you could see everything around. It was really nice. And even during the rushes, it was like you know, it, was, it didn't seem like it was too cluttered. People were moving back and forth. It was and like, there was a lot of people. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know. And, we and, uh, and we filmed. Yeah. We filmed the whole seven and a half hours. Like, yeah. You. Mm -hmm. You'll see. It was. It was there was uh, quite a few. It was like New York traffic. It wasn't. It wasn't like people honking because you know, hey, get out of the way. It was honking to be like, hey. Yeah, like, so, you know, it's yeah. a ballet. You know, <laughs> people walking around. I think we were located very well. We were right mm -hmm. at the entrance. That was the best because people, they come in and they're going left or right, they go, and no, if they, not even, they don't go left. People go automatically right. It's Did like you find? Yeah, because I I go left automatically when I enter. Well, you're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. <laughs> well, no, no. Let Let's just think about. Uh, the last the last couple of cons we went to we always went left we, we always extra. started on oh that's left. true so regardless. left outside then we do inside but we always that's start true. left that's quite true but mm -hmm. it's only because it's ruby food depends on the place maybe maybe yeah yeah but other mm. than that what uh, how Instead about of that, you go all the way to the end and be, anyways ha, as, <laughs> I think uh, that we start with like <laughs> the side that is more interesting like that oh, could be yeah 
there's something on that side. Let's start. <laughs> That's why they turn right because we're there. Because <laughs> we're the only ones with orange bl- tablecloth. Oh yeah. Thanks, Thanks Mark. Mark. By the way, you're amazing at your your display skills. Awesome. <laughs> you were gonna you were gonna ask something. You're really good to kiss asses tonight. Right? <laughs> well, it was <laughs> like it was a great event and well organized Mike, please, and well down. <laughs> It was well organized, a well organized event, and, and well, <laughs> and well put right, we together. Our tables screen. were well done, and I think it, it, you know, it was fun for us. It and was we were fun. good at it. We were really good at it. Now you were about to ask something a couple of times. So what, what, what was it? I totally forgot. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, I got it. I got it. Got it. As uh, remember when? Go <laughs> on. <laughs> Sorry. As yeah. collectors, uh-huh. what did you guys get at the con? That was really cool. You didn't buy anything, did you? Oh, you I bought from you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Both of your first sales are like each of our first, except for mine, I sold to another vendor like who was across the way. But each of like your guys' first sales was like to one of you, each other, yeah. wasn't it? I bought him uh, his bought collection. From him. Bought, bought from, from him. him his collection of Metal Gear. Yeah. And he bought from that. me my bundle of Uncanny X Men. And then we traded some. Yeah, and then you it, traded. We, I traded the. Same I really want to buy from you. The, the Fallout. I ended up selling the Fallout. Unfortunately, yeah, so, sorry, price. but I, think well, yeah, we were, I mean, no, we were both on the fence for that because you wanted it, and you, as soon as you saw the bobblehead that was in it, it's like ah, I had I had Fallout Three Collector's Edition on PS3, and it was complete. It had the game working, the bobblehead, the the making of video, and the art book. Did you even open it? Uh, yeah, of course. Oh, okay, but I had the bobblehead on my desk for like yeah. the longest time. Um, but I take care of my stuff, so I I knew it was working because I tried it. And you know, no one's gonna pay 150, 150, even 50 bucks. I was like, just get rid of it. And I think it goes for around 50. It, I don't care. I think, I think. <laughs> I, I, the, the point is, the, that's all the point is that the, the person that bought it, happy. yeah, the person that bought it was really for excited. Us. For us, for us, that was the important. But other people are, are making a living out of it and they need to make a profit. They need and it's to, understandable. Like, yeah, that's what, well, well, uh, yeah. until a certain point. Go away. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna say it's not normal to overcharge like a game when you can find it easily somewhere else for less. Mm-hmm. That table that has the Power Ranger stuff, yeah, that guy yeah. was uh, bought uh, the Morpher for like fifty dollars. That's a great price because yeah. yeah. it's still in stores for like fifty nine ninety nine. He unlike bought it for fifty. When, unlike when we've seen the dagger. Yeah, at the con, someone while t- still being at the store w- for the 120. Guy was, uh, yeah, exactly, 120. It was still in store for 79.99. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Right? And yeah. a lot of people do that. Have you guys also noticed that at the beginning we set up and the the there's like some sort of community, right, with all the sellers. They all talk to each other and then. We all buy from each other. Like we have like the first dibs and stuff. Mm-hmm. I, th- I thought that was so great that we. Well, we that guy wanted out. to do a trade with you. Like. Oh yeah, but that there. was weird. He didn't have. Uh, he wasn't very happy with my idea of the trade. I wanted to do a straight on trade. Yeah, like a twenty dollar product for a twenty dollar product. He's like, I don't want to do that. No. I'm like, what? Why? He didn't tell me a reason why. He's like, oh, for a straight out trade, you know, twenty twenty. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, hmm. Mm, I'll come back to you on that. So he wanted to trade. Like. He was showing me all <laughs> sorts of stuff on his table that was worth I don't think more he understand than what I was selling. The idea of trade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He wanted. <laughs> he was showing me uh, uh, a sign that says Bond's name across it. He's like, "Oh, if you sell comic books, it's great to have this neon sign. It's probably worth around one hundred and twenty dollars to have done, or three hundred dollars to have done." No. Uh, I'm like, 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 not even. I don't need that. He's like, "Oh, here's this. I have Star Wars. I have GI Joe." I don't collect any of that. I don't want that. And I saw a Kiss figure that he had marked for twenty dollars on it. I'm like, hey, I'm selling the figure for twenty. You're selling the figure for twenty. Straight out change. It's like, mm. I'm like really? What's so hard? Okay, fine. You don't want it. Mm. My I honestly don't see the problem. I don't see the problem either. Well, he wanted something, something from you. You wanted something from him. Hey, equal it's, prices. It's twenty bucks. I I made somewhere else, so I don't yeah, really care. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you were gonna say no. I'll go. I was gonna, I was just gonna say it was a it was a great uh, first time being a vendor at a convention as all the nerds. Um, wow, we had fun. Yeah. Nothing that was missing was music. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I mean, could have had music. Yeah, we yeah. could have. Um, next time, you know, if if there's I had music, just not speakers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, next time if there's a next time, yeah, some, sometime soon. 
Are we, we gonna do it next time? Are we gonna? Is there a next time coming up at any point that we could think of? Anyway, there's a. When's the next high score? Well, point? comic wise, we're good enough. Like, I mean, oh yeah, like, we have enough comics. For exactly, that. we've got enough comics and yeah, bundles. Yeah, toys. To, I don't really have a heck of a lot that's left over from the. Uh, oh shit! Man, it was insane, man. You were nonstop. We're just looking at you. We're like, well, I hope someone's gonna buy comics. <laughs> <laughs> I got those, those black, like, oh, those black shelving to yeah. fill up, and, and they were f- within like the first half hour to an hour, yeah. they were gone. Everything was off of it. Because that's the main problem. It's it's good to have products. Uh, the problem is to have enough product through to have through all the day. Yeah, like being able to refill. That that's the thing that we got. We got. Perfect amount of table and shelves for the beginning. Uh-huh. And now we're in, we're like, okay, that was way too many tables. But we needed that at the beginning. So I, I and I like I, I, I like I get it, it's I find it a compliment that how many people thought we were a store. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah but, like, you know, oh, do you have a location? Like, like no. No. Well, well, like, not, but we have a website and a, <laughs> and a show every week. <laughs> not to brag. But we were amazing. <laughs> yeah. like, like, I, mean, I, don't, I don't like to toot my own horn, but uh, <laughs> we were pretty awesome. <laughs> a lot of people told uh, told me that. Uh, oh my god, that's a super nice display and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. Yeah, it, it was nice. The, the picture getting taken and, and some random newspaper yeah. that we have. Yeah, no, no, that was co- it. Yeah, wasn't a newspaper. It was a, it was a, a Montreal entertainment so- a website um, by a professional photographer. Uh, who wanted to take our picture and he had said it was like already near the end of the day at that point and he had said he didn't take many photos for his gallery but he said you know he really liked us and he wanted our photo taken so that's going to be cool uh we'll we'll post that on on our site once uh once that gallery goes up We are all the nerds.